I'm going to use a fairly large brush. I'll just wet. I always uh, take off excess moisture on the sponge. Take care in painting the edge. So even when I'm wetting along the edge of that shape, I'm trying to wet up to that edge. And I'm just getting out some permanent rose, a little Antwerp blue. I'm going to take a little more permanent rose. Until I get it on the paper, I won't have a feeling for how moist it is. And I paint at an angle with the board tilted, and gravity will help to move the paint for me by doing that. I find that to be very helpful in producing very pretty color mixtures. Charging in some Antwerp blue. I'm going to add a little bit of new gamboge underneath here. Now I'm getting some pooling of color, and if I don't pick that up, I'll get a run back, which will create texture, and I don't want that there. Picking up a little aureole and yellow down into the center. And I need to get my damp brush. I want to soften that edge and re-wet the area above here, just in case it lost moisture. I'm just painting up to the area that I have already gotten color into. Charging some Antwerp blue mixed with permanent rose. And I want to bring some of that permanent rose down through this petal toward where it grows. And while that's wet, I'm going to add some permanent rose mixed with Antwerp blue in the next petal. And charge a little yellow in that area. And I like to use the knife edge of my brush in areas that need uh, definition. I'm leaving a hard edge at the top of that shape, but then I want to soften it in the belly of the shape here. And I'm going to want a dark at the edge of that petal. And to create that dark, I'm going to take some Windsor Violet Just want to soften that edge a little bit, too. Then the natural progression, I think, is to move along into this next top petal. 